on that other side, like where we there are lions here. No lions. <laughs> hey, but is this return lion? Eh? Uh, yeah. Mama, I made it. You know what? Because I am here at the first and oldest mining site in the entire world. Is it true? Yes, my friend. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. My name is PJ. BJ. Yeah, Peggy Jablan Shabang. Peggy Jablan Jablani. You know, have you been to Kenya? No, but I'm from Kenya because Kenya is Africa. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. So which means you are an African born in Eswatini. Eswatini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you go to Kenya, I'm Kenya. You are not a foreigner. I'm not a foreigner. I love you so much. Okay. I love so, it. so the place where you are right now, Mia, is called Ngwenya. Ngwenya. Yeah. I think I know the meaning of Ngwenya. What is the meaning of Ngwenya? Crocodile. Ah, you are in the crocodile place. Huh? <laughs> crocodile place in Eswatini. Wow. And then this area is rich in mineral called iron ore. Iron. Yeah, iron ore. So I just want to show you the samples of iron. Okay. Again, you can come around. Just wow. look at this one. Huh? Yeah. So iron, the color of iron is looking black like this one. Yes. This doesn't look black. This looks like pink. Oh, this is black. Yeah, okay. the reason it's looking pinkish is because of rusting oxidation. So that's why it's looking. Red. So this is money right here. Can I take it away? With you? Yeah. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, then the simplest method to identify good quality and bad quality, bad quality iron it is by the color. When it's looking black or more red, mm. black and more red, okay. it is more red because of oxidation, okay. oxidized, and then density. There's another thing we can use, okay. density, when it's more heavy. So All we right. can try, man. Okay. Which one do you think is the biggest? You, huh? said, you said the more blacker, more iron. The more iron. Uh -huh. This doesn't look black. This doesn't look black. <laughs> This doesn't, uh, kinda, but I feel like this is more black. Yeah, so let's let's try, lift it up. Huh? Lift it up? Yeah. I've never Which been to the good? military training. <laughs> Let me check it out. More black. Okay, let's start with this one. Let's start with this one. Because this one is looking like it. this one is big, eh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. it seems this one is bigger, but... Okay, with one hand. Mm -hmm. Which means I can even carry this with, with one, one finger. One finger. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. No. What? It's too big. Too more, big. More iron on it. Okay. Now let's go up there to the lawn, Kevin. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> wow. I was told that this place is the oldest mine in the entire world, and I wanted to come in here and see things for myself, learn something new, and also educate so many people out there. So, are you ready to educate us? You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> so now we're just hiking to to the lion cabin. It's called lion cabin. Lion cabin. Oh, know. that's why I thought there's lions over there. Yeah, <laughs> but there were no lions. Man. So do you know beer? Beer. Uh, I know that. Okay. In in here in Eswatini, we have our own brand called Sibebe. Sibebe. Apart from the mountains, okay. Sibebe, then we have Sibebe beer. This is oh, local. Local beer. Local beer. Huh? Then, then, so, then South Africa, they have what we call a uh, lion castle, a lot of beers. No? Mm. So what happened is that this area tend to be a tourist attraction area, mm. early 80s. It was a tourist attraction area? What, 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 what was here that people have to come and see? Yeah, this, this is now, now it's just like you're taking tourists up there. No? Oh. So this area tend to be a tourist attraction area around early 80s no? okay. so before that people were just coming not giving money not paying you know? oh, okay. nobody's in control nobody to tell you what was happening who was doing what huh? okay so what they find there they found that there were empty cans written lion lager in that ah! <laughs> <laughs> then they say it's a lion because of the can oh. lion okay then Kevin's comes from the world cave because it's just a small cave so that's why they call it lion cave oh, okay now i understand Okay, yes, we're going to uh -huh. along Kevin. Okay. Yeah. My I'm already tired. Yeah, so let's wait. I just want to show you something. Okay. You know, this side, eh? Yeah. It's South Africa. Because, you know, neighboring country is South Africa. Oh, you can see South Africa from here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, that see. road? Yeah, that gravel road. That gravel road is in South Africa. It's in South, South Africa. Africa. Boundaries just lies that side, no. But it's hidden there, just that other side, no. Okay. And there, where you look at, uh, the houses they looking more white. Yeah. That is the parakeet to South Africa. It's called Oshuk. 
Orungwenya for a cape to South oh, Africa. That is that is a border for a cape, between yeah. Swaziland and South Africa. Between Swaziland and South Africa. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. You can see all of them from here. Yeah. I just can't wait to see what is ahead of us. Thank you. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's go, let's man. Go. <laughs> Now we are going to the oldest mine in the world. Oh this is the, the Lion Kevin. Oh. Uh, so close. So close. A minute away. Oh my god. <laughs> this is an adventure. Oh yeah, so the, the Lion Kevin, the people mining here about 43,000 years ago. Look at here. 43,000 years 43, ago. 43,000 years ago. That is the ancestors of the sand. That is the pushmen. Wow. They were mining hermitite. Huh? This is. Uh, mining habitat and specularite. Wow. Yeah. So as we know the life, this is the lion cabin. Hmm. It's not too it's big. Cabin. It's just a small cave. Huh? Wow. The reason it's not big it is because uh this is during the stone age period. Huh? True. So these people they didn't have modern tools just for mining. No? Yeah. So this is all iron. If we were having magnet I was going to show you that this is iron. So you cannot break it. Huh? So these people they were using stones just stones to, to mine to mine. Okay. So why do we mining this side? Huh? Yeah. Here we have a material we call it specralite. Specralite is just a shiny material. Because you know the sand people were not wearing clothes like that. They were wearing those animal skins. Mm. So when it is hot like today, they, they wanted something to protect them. Yeah. So this works as sunscreen. Like this one, if you take this, then I yeah. try put it. Yeah. yeah, just put it here. Just look at the difference, huh? Oh, <laughs> see how it nice. looks like. Nice, it's like modern makeup. Yeah, this is like modern makeup. Amazing. This is what these people they were doing. Yeah, okay, wow. listen. but it's not too big. So, somebody can ask me why you call it the oldest in the world. We are saying it is the oldest mine known in the world because a professor from Vet University, an archaeologist, that mm. is Professor Peter Pumak. Okay, so they arrived here and then they took this for symbols took, took some symbols took it for radiocarbon dating mm. and it backdated to 43,000 years ago hmm? 43,000 years ago it's even before the arrival of the Swadi people so by the time it is ancient time eh? yeah. the time where the people live near the valley sand so this mine belongs to the same people wow mm -hmm. wow so like this was um, <coughs> started by the sun yes the sun people. people so after the sun people which people took over after the same people <coughs> arrive, another people will call them the Bandu speaking settlers. So the Bandu speaking settlers are the Nguni. Okay. They're coming from East Africa and Central Africa. By the, the arrival of the Nguni is during the, the period we call it the, what you call it, Iron. Iron Age, Iron Age yes. Okay. So when they coming here, there were conflicts because these people, they keep even, they were thinking that there is a holy god, holy god of the mountain. So this place was more like to them was like a church, <laughs> if I can say like that. You know? yeah. So when these people they arrive, they say we want the iron, we want to melt it and do tools, make some tools because these people do agriculture. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So like conflicts. So that is why if you go all around the world, like Southern Africa, mm. descendants of the sand we no longer have. We, do, we no longer have pure hundred percent sand. So to be. So yeah, they were like they out. Were, yeah, they were fighting. Some of them they were they got killed, and some of them they intermarried. So then we have these people we call Khoisan. Eh? Mm, the Khoisan people. Yeah. Wow. This is the oldest mine. Like I said, Africa is really blessed. The richest continent on in the world, like no doubt about that. Even in the olden days, we are mining in here. I mean, what else should I tell you? We want to see after them which people came in. Like you said, like um, the, what, what was the, the name? Bantu the Bantu people. Yeah. And then after the Bantu people, after the Bandu people, then they started what we call commercial mining. Commercial mining. Yeah, because after the Bandu people, that was that is when the country turned to be Swaziland, Eswatini, because the Bandu, uh, the Nguni, the Nguni are the Swazi as well. Now. <sighs> so when the European they arrived, it's when they cut like they made it South Africa, and the divisions you know, yeah, because it was just like one people. Even the language was more like the same. You know? Okay, so then 1964 is the beginning of the commercial mining. Okay, 1964. Okay, and ended 1977. Okay, yes. Yeah, as I was, as I was explaining about commercial mining. Yeah. So commercial mining started 1964. Okay. Uh, the mining company is called Anglo American, and they stopped 1977. As you can see, all year it was like big mountain like that one, eh? Big mountain. Very very big mountain. Eh? And it did down, 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 down. down. 
even that water is coming from underground. Underground. Yeah, underground. They've taken all the minerals away. Uh, I think they've taken about uh, 28 million 370 tons good quality iron. As I was showing you that side, bad quality and good quality. Quality, iron. yeah. So it was being taken from here to uh, Mozambique. Then from Mozambique, it was taken to Japan. African resources don't even stay in Africa. That's the saddest part about Africa. We have all these resources, but they don't use to develop our continent. Rather, they, st I mean, I don't want to use the word still, but um, yeah, they still to develop their various continent. But where the thing is coming from, they don't really care. You know, it's so bad, man, because you know what have happened. We, we didn't produce anything from the iron. They're just taking it as raw material to to Japan. Eh? So they say in Japan we have mountain called Swaziland. <laughs> you have a mountain called Swaziland Big in one. Japan. Iron Mountain, Japan. No. So now they're coming back to Swaziland maybe as cars. Expensive. But it took it cheap by the time, you know. Use our own irons to make cars and then ship it back to us. Expensive now. Expensive. Oh. God okay. bless Africa man. <laughs> okay, thank you man. <laughs> yes, this is the last phase now, huh? Oh wow. Listen. See this one, this is the iron, like as I've told you that it's black, huh? Yeah. So the last phase was done by Salgaoka, company from India. They are from India, coming from India. Okay. So this one we're crushing. We're crushing this one. Crushing this one to be like this one. So that is why it's looking like this. It's the same thing, you know? Wow. But you know, they were supposed to work for seven years. Seven years in the country. Okay. But they only work from 2012 and mid 2015. Fly away, that's, fly by night. That's three, so three and a half years. Yes, mm -hmm. they fly by night. Yeah. Why did they fly by night? It's because these guys they started cheating, eh? Because this is the poor quality side, huh? So they're supposed to take only the poor. Now they're starting digging, digging the good quality. The good quality. So when we discover that now these people they are taking the good quality, fly by night. So that is why if you look at all this side, this is their machinery. They just left everything. You know? Wow. It's all it's so much the, money. Too much money. They left everything here. Left everything there, you know. And somebody told me that one is worth a million, more than a million rand. Yeah. So that roller thing, they call it screens and stuff, but I don't know. Was coming from South Africa working for a mining company. You know. They left everything here. They just left. I okay. mean, w w why do we allow foreigners to, I mean, steal from us? I don't, you don't think it's stealing? Uh, I think it is because, you know what, Africans, we don't believe on ourselves. We think that if somebody coming from outside is more intelligent than us. Than us? Uh, yeah, that is my own assumption. <laughs> I mean, no yeah. one is more intelligent than us. I mean, I feel like we have to unite as one, even within us, unite as one, work together as one family. Because, you see, these people have no good for you. You know, they came, oh, we're going to do this, and they start stealing. Yeah. They're stealing the entire resource of Africa. I even believe that in future, we, the next generation, will not even have gold to mine. Because we have gold everywhere in Africa, we have diamond, bauxite, so... Yeah, maybe we, Africa must unite, I think. That's, that's the most important thing, remove borders and, and the, the, we the start... Richest, the richest, the richest continent. Look at that. Everyone comes, mm -hmm. take their portion and go away. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was just uh, trying to understand why have they left everything like this? Because this thing's going to be expensive, man. And it is because one came and said, uh, a bank, they said that they taken a loan in the bank so they use the money from the bank to buy all this stuff no so when they have made the profit they just left it like that that is why they just don't care and how can the bank find them no they you cannot pay. find them they, they didn't, didn't pay, pay. No, it's just like a, a seven-year contract oh okay so they pay for the three and a half then they are remaining they gone they, and didn't they left pay. the country at night they left the country at night fly by night they gone we cannot even trace them <laughs> so sad, nah, this is sad man. apart from we getting to know about the oldest mine the view in this place is absolutely breathtaking trust me africa got everything i mean i always say that africa is the most underrated continent in the world but people don't believe like just have a look at this view oh my goodness i think the people who discovered this place knew what is here because if they never discovered this we will never come here to enjoy this beautiful breathtaking view so boy mr ghana baby i need to say uh, sorry uh, please please i forgot about you you know when i see views like that 
<laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to let people know that Africa is beautiful. I want to say... It's not only Africa, not only the land. Africa, look at us, beautiful people. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful Africa. Is thank like you so people. much. Do <laughs> oh, oh, you have any message to tell your fellow brothers and sisters from other part of Africa? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But small message. Man. What is the message that they are listening? I'm just telling you... Ladies and gentlemen, come to Africa. It's most beautiful, huh? Eh? Beautiful Africa, and the richest in the world is Africa. Each no and every mineral you, you find it in Africa. Beautiful people, Africa. I love you all. Eh? <laughs> we love you all. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I'm gonna see you inside the oldest, you know, mining site in Africa. I'm gonna mine my own ore before I leave here. I need to be rich. Cannot just come here and go home poor. I am Maya. Bye.